Hi everyone, so this is the finished makeup look and if you guys are interested in knowing how to recreate it, keep on watching. I don't know why I'm getting nervous. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I thought I would just come on here and show you guys how I do my makeup. So we're just gonna go in with this illuminating moisturizer and I just like the way that it makes my skin look because I look good in this summer, winter. I wish it was summer, it is not. It is minus 16 degrees outside today, I think. The next thing I'm gonna go with is the base of my skin. I use this Nude Sticks Tinted Cover Foundation. I really like it because it's really light on my skin. It doesn't look like foundation. I've avoided wearing makeup pretty much my entire life because I didn't like the way foundation looked on my skin. Probably because I haven't found the right foundation. I use this one. I use the Maybelline Fit Me Hydrate and Smooth. I like it because it's dewy on my skin. So I'm gonna go in with this one and it's in Nude 7 in case you guys were wondering. But I think I'm gonna go in with a brush. So I put in about that much on my face. The thing with this foundation is you need a lot because it's so sheer. We're just gonna go dab -de dab dab dab. <laughs> okay, so that pretty much covered my cheeks. I'm gonna go in with another pump and put it all over the forehead. Because I'm Indian, usually foundations look really ashy on my forehead because my forehead is darker than my cheeks. But this one, because it's so sheer, it actually does a pretty good job at not making me look ashy. Anyways, how are you guys? I don't even know if anyone's gonna be watching this. I don't even know if I'm gonna post this. Also, I'm not a makeup artist by any means. If I could catfish the world perfectly with makeup, I would do it. I need help. <laughs> if anyone has any makeup tips, let me know. Okay. So, I don't know which concealer to use. Uh, always a hard life out here. So I have this Nude Sticks concealer and then I have this Maybelline Fit Me concealer as well. I'm gonna go in with a Maybelline Fit Me because it's a little bit brighter underneath the eyes and my dark circles need some waking up. So the makeup gurus have said that instead of going all the way down and doing a big triangle to actually put it into the corner of your eyes and then do a little swoop over here to give us like a little facelift. I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go up. I think I did that right. We're gonna go in with our fingers. And blend this out. Someone is making noises outside and I don't know who it is. How do we look? Okay, so that is concealer done. Gotta contour our face. So we're gonna use this NARS Casino. So I'm gonna go and take this e.l.f. brush and just really get in there. It just doesn't pick up product that much. Then I kind of pinch it so I can contour my cheeks. I just go in like that. God damn, she looks bronzed up. <laughs> So we're just gonna go the temples and over here. And we're gonna go do the same thing over here. Okay, so now that we're all bronzed up, moving over to my favorite part, which is blush. Um, honestly, I did not use blush for the longest time. I'd only bronze my face because I just didn't think blush would look good on my skin. But this is a game changer. It makes your skin look so so healthy and i'm like i literally cannot live without blush i will give up bronzer but i will not give up blush so i'm going in with this mac copper tone blush a matte like peachy shade i hate smiling okay it looks like a lot <laughs> oh god <laughs> this is not going well i'm just gonna blend it out because that's a lot of blush i think we look good Okay, so what do we have left to do? So I'm not gonna touch the brows because I have really big brows and I don't really need to do anything to them. Otherwise, they're gonna look like big caterpillars. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of eyeshadow. So what I'm gonna do is take the bronzer that I've already used and take a little dense brush like this and put it into the crease. And 
continue putting in the bronzer. I'm just gonna blend it real good. Okay, I think we're good. So next thing I'm gonna do is curl my lashes and I'm gonna get real close and curl them. So a few months ago, I got eyelash extensions for the first time and I had been eyeing them for so, so long, but I didn't wanna spend the money to get eyelash extensions because I have pretty long lashes, but I wanted long fluttery ones that look really pretty all the time. And eyelash extensions are expensive. So like on the cheaper end, they're like maybe 80 bucks to hundred bucks for an entire new full set. Um, they can go anywhere towards like $250 for a new full set. And I'm like, God damn, that's expensive for something that only lasts like on your face for like three weeks and before you have to go get it filled. And I saw this girl during quarantine doing a promo for um, $50 eyelash extensions. And I was like, okay, her work looks pretty good. And I'm like, I'm going to go get eyelash extensions just to experience what it's like. And so I go to this girl and get my $40 eyelash extensions. She's really sweet. It's such a like hygienic environment. Her work looked pretty good and she seemed to be receptive to like what I wanted. And I was like, okay, I want a cat eye. I want it to look really natural. And she did classic lashes and she's taking her time and she's complimenting me about like how nice my eyelashes are and I'm like well thank you I really really appreciate it and then she gets finished with my eyelash extensions and I look at them and I'm like I look like I'm wearing a Halloween costume they looked bad I will probably insert a picture here because or maybe not because it's sad times so the day after I got my eyelash extensions. I was getting a tattoo, my first tattoo, just on my ribcage. And I was meeting up with a couple of my friends right after to show them my tattoo and my experience. They didn't know that I had gotten my eyelash extensions then and they look so bad. So I pull up and I'm like, don't look at me. And they're like, okay, Ruby, we gotta look at you. And I'm like, don't laugh at me. <laughs> and one of my friend's faces was just like, what did you do? Like, <laughs> when did this happen? And I'm like, it was an impromptu decision to go get my eyelash extensions done. And then I'm like, I have to pay $30 to get these eyelash extensions removed? Like, what? So I'm like, honestly, I'm just gonna try to like figure out how to either put on false lashes because these ain't happening. And even though I have really nice lashes, the one I don't like about them is the fact that like, okay, from here, you can't see that I have eyelashes. It doesn't matter how much mascara I put on. Okay, when you're close up, you can tell that I have decent lashes. Like I want them to look fluttery when I'm like over here, not when I'm in your face. You know what I mean? Anyways, so that was my eyelash extension story for those of you that probably do not care about my eyelashes. We're just gonna go in with this mascara. Okay, how rude of me. I didn't even tell you guys what mascara I was going in with. I'm using this Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal Volume Express Mascara. Honestly, Maybelline does the best mascaras, period. From all the research that I've done in terms of makeup, most beauty gurus will second me on this. Drugstore mascara will cost you maybe like seven bucks. High-end mascara from Sephora will cost you probably like $30. And I honestly don't notice that much of a difference between the mascaras. So you're better off just going with a Maybelline mascara. You'll save yourself some money. So that is the mascara done. <sighs> What's next? I feel like I need more blush. <laughs> you can honestly never go wrong with too much blush. Okay, so now we're going to be on to the lippies. So I use this lip liner called... Plum from MAC. I really like it because it's similar to the lipstick that I'm going to use, which is a Revlon Superstar Brown Matte. And then we're going to go in with this Fenty Gloss because you got to plump up those lips. We're going to go, I'm going to use this mirror over here and see if I can line them for you guys.
Oh God. <laughs> Okay, I'm not a makeup artist, guys, so you guys are just gonna have to bear with me because this doesn't look that good. So I'm just gonna go in with my lipstick in very similar color and we're just gonna lightly dab it. I think that looks pretty good. What do we think? And then I'm just gonna Blend everything out with my finger. Okay. <laughs> I thought we made a big boo-boo and it re everything was gonna look really bad, but I honestly think that it looks pretty good. I thought this side was gonna be a lot bigger than this side. It looked pretty even to me. So now I'm just gonna go with this Fenty gloss. A little. And I'm just gonna look. So they look extra juicy. And those are the lips. Done. See, I went from looking like I had flat lips to now I look like I actually have lips. <laughs> I'll even show you what I do with my hair. So what I normally like to do is just take out a little bit of hair. I would normally wear silver hoops with this look too, but I kind of lost them. So I'm sad about that. But we will get them back soon if I can find the replacement for them. So this is kind of what I do on a daily basis. It's like you look put together, you look healthy, you look glowy. And honestly, it takes me like 10 minutes to do it in the morning. This tutorial probably ended up being a lot longer just because I was taking my good old ass time. But yeah, look cute and make sure that your skin looks healthy and glowy and all of that ish. Um, again, I am not a makeup artist. So if anyone has any tips or tricks or any product recommendations, please do leave them down in the comments section below. So 